Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Betty. I have a one-year-old. I had my baby via C-section. Uh, my channel is about... Um, I had a pituitary tumor back in 2017 that I removed. Um, so it, my channel is about the recovery from that. I it suffered from infertility as well so i do a lot of videos i did a lot of videos on that as well and now i'm diving into um you know motherhood and postpartum and recovery so this video is all about c-section recovery what happened after I got into the recovery room and kind of like the weeks and months to follow. And I have some tips to share with you um, as well if you're, you know, part kind of going through this journey as well. And I am going to give you a, a glimpse of my scar, not a glimpse. I'm gonna give you like a video of, of what my scar looks like if you're curious. Um, what the c-section scar looks like after you deliver um i'm of course one year postpartum so this is you know something that you can you know look for um after you have your baby of course it's not going to look the same but uh, eventually you will turn to something like you know what i have so if you're interested keep watching let's dive right in my c-section recovery when i was at the hospital um was a little bit rough and i'll explain why the first night was great. I still had the medication in my system and I was still feeling, you know, I wasn't feeling pain. I was feeling good. The first night was, was great. Um, it's the second day and night when things started to kind of uh, get a little bit painful. So typically, they want you to get up after you have your C-section. They want you to get up and walk around whenever you feel ready, but I, I kind of as soon as possible. I had my, my baby at 8 a.m. and they weren't able to get to me to kind of like help me get up until 11 p.m. So it was like a really long time that I was just like laying there and I was ready. I was ready to get up by probably like one o'clock, one, two o'clock that afternoon after I had my baby. I was ready to just like get up, walk around, you know, because I knew that it was important to get up and like get all of that air that was trapped in my body as my insides were open um out and about um to get that out but my hospital was very busy and unfortunately they couldn't get to me uh until 11 p.m so that played a big factor into my uh second day and night kind of um discomfort that i experienced so like i said first night was great second night um Second day, it started in the afternoon. It just started to, I, I felt really, really bloated more than, you know, you still have your belly after you have your baby. It's not just gonna like, I don't know who just gets a flat belly after they have, they push a baby out or they get a baby out. But I still had my belly, of course. Um, but it was just like extra like bloated. And there was like, I could tell there was like a lot of air trapped in there. Um, I tried to walk around as much as I could. Um, it was during COVID, of course, so they, you know, there were some restrictions on like being out in the hallways um, or going to different floors or anything. So um, I tried to walk as much as possible, but it didn't help. It really didn't. Um, the pain, it was like gas pain times, you know, a thousand, like, it was really sharp pain uh, that I just couldn't get rid of. They were giving me gas medication. They were doing, you know, like giving me the pain medication, but it wasn't really helping. Um, so a lot, the second night was miserable for me. I couldn't sleep. I have a birth vlog on my channel. I'll link that video at the end of this, this video so you can watch it. You can tell like the video for my the shot from my second like third day like after the second night like you could tell i was like it was rough like i was struggling um and <clears throat> of course the scar like it was tender like i tried to not to touch it or anything um but um the scar wasn't the issue it was more of the gas pain and the discomfort um from that so that kind of lingered for about i would say like three days four days it was like it was coming and going and as i was i we left the hospital and, and I, w I went home and i was able to like walk around more freely in my own own home like more comfortably it kind of got better but um like at night i could tell like a couple of nights after i got home i i got that sharp pain again and i had my husband go and get um some gas medication um 
but it like it wasn't like consistent it would like come and go uh randomly for me it was very strange uh, so I would say I got that pain probably like a couple of nights after I got home. Um, but after that, things, you know, got better. Like I was able to like, you know, walk around and stuff. <clears throat> Be Having a C-section, um, it's painful to do a lot of the normal things that you do. Like getting in bed, getting out of bed was like, I had to be really careful because you really take for granted the amount of time that you use your like muscles, your stomach muscles to do anything really. So um, it was painful to get in bed, painful to walk, to get out of bed, pa painful to bend over, painful to laugh. I had to like hold a, a pillow to my stomach to laugh, um, to cough, to, um, to do just a normal, to pick up something, to bend over, like everything was just like, I had to be extra careful to do because it was, it would be painful if I do them. And that kind of like discomfort pain lasted probably for like two, two and a half weeks, um, I want to say. I didn't take any medication for it because I just felt like it wasn't uncomfortable to a point like I couldn't handle the pain. It wasn't uncomfortable when I was just like walking around. It was uncomfortable when I was doing, actively doing something. Um, and if it, if it got to a point where I was like, oh, this is really painful, like I would stop doing what I was doing. So I really didn't take any medication past like the first week and a half I want to say of my postpartum from like from the hospital all the way to like kind of you know week and a half after that um I just didn't th think that I needed it um but it did whenever I was taking it I did keep up with my medication for sure uh because I especially at like the first week like you really don't want to kind of everything is new you don't want to kind of like not take your medication and then be in so much pain but it does get better it does get better so um it's painful it's more painful than i thought that i like that it would be uh, for some reason because like, like you know that okay you're having a major surgery there's a recovery period but you just like you're um you're more excited about the baby than like you like i don't know for me like i was more excited about the baby than you know and so like the recovery i was just kind of oh i'll deal with it like i'm i'm fine i had brain surgery like that's not like that the recovery for that is like you know i should be fine but this was actually harder than that um the the, the level of like discomfort um was more than when I had my my brain tumor my brain brain tumor removed so it was interesting it was it was kind of quite um eye-opening for me for sure um <clears throat> but things that kind of have helped me uh, help, helped me when I was recovering I would say for sure have like some gas medication in your house ready to go whenever you need it you can take it the second tip that I would give you is um uh, make sure that you keep up with your medication um, as instructed, as instructed by your doctor, until you feel like you you're you're feeling better uh, and you don't need to take them anymore. Uh, but at least the first week and a half to possibly two weeks, like I would say, definitely take your medication as as your doctor has instructed you. Uh, third thing, like uh, try to like get up and walk around as soon as you're ready at the hospital. Um, that's something like that will play a big factor into into your discomfort like right when you're like the second night or the third night like when you're in the hospital or leaving the hospital so to get all that air out of your your body uh that's really really important so like advocate for yourself i wish i did advocate for myself more um next time i know exactly what i need to do um speak up like be like okay i need to get up right now because i you know i don't want to be laying here until everybody's ready to come you know help me out um so get up and walk around as soon as you are ready um don't push yourself too much um there's a lot going on you have a new baby to take care of if you have help great like utilize your help um the, the help that you have so you can take it easy take it rest when you can um so you don't kind of like overwork yourself because it's really easy to do that and you forget that you just had major surgery um one thing that i wanted to also mention is that 
um, it gets better. It gets better. Um, knowing that, the, that can kind of like help you get through the discomfort or like the times that are a little bit harder. Um, it gets better. Like I would say by the fourth week, like I was just like back to normal for sure. Um, <clears throat> so it, it, it was, it was uncomfortable during, but nothing that you cannot handle. Um, you have medications if you need it, uh, but just know that it gets better. It gets better. And then after, after like a little bit, you won't even like, you know, notice or like feel anything. Um, now that's, that's kind of like the recovery and the pain. Let's talk about the scar. So the scar at first, you have to take care of your scar, make sure it's clean. If it's, if there's any, you know, like, um, it looks like there's infection or redness or swelling. You have to tell your doctor right away. But, um, the scar in the area, like it was numb for like, I couldn't, I can't even remember for the longest time. It was just numb. It wasn't bothering me, um, or anything. Um, the only thing that I noticed is that when I like, cause because when I would like, I was like slouching over from my recovery period. Um, so when I would like stand up straight, it would like stretch a little bit. It was like a weird feeling. It would, didn't hurt, but it just kind of would, would feel tight in that area. Um, but the uh, the scar itself does not hurt and then you go to your doctor uh postpartum and they check your your scar and make sure that everything is kind of good um so the scar stuff doesn't bother me i would say like i don't know how but i'll show you guys what, what it looks like now a year um after i had my baby um it doesn't bother me at all like who cares <laughs> I had a baby so who cares it's kind of low enough that you can't see it like if you're wearing a bathing suit or whatever like you can't see it it's totally fine um but yeah like I I if I have another baby I probably will do a c-section again I have um I have another video on my channel on like the actual experience like during the c-section I'll link it at the end of this video as well for you to see like I had a really good experience like it was it was it was great um the recovery yes it was a little bit you know rougher than i envisioned in my head but now i know like next time i know exactly what to expect i will be ready i will advocate for myself um and i know that okay there's gonna be a period of time where i'm gonna be uncomfortable but it will get better so i'm gonna show you guys my scar now all right so here's what my scar looks like um it has healed really really well um it's not bumpy or anything um i don't mind it at all like it's way below my bikini line as you can tell like my tan lines so it's something i can live with for sure uh, i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel um yeah and i'll see you next time